So now in this video, we have a 555 timer here wired as a comparator. The output's going to be in one state or the other, depending on which light dependent resistor had the brighter light. Um, and um, not right at an exact level, there's some hysteresis, kind of has to move a little bit. So right now the output's high, that tells me that light dependent resistor uh, right here to the trigger pin was brighter because when that gets a low input, it sets the output high. So I'm gonna turn on my flashlight and uh, kind of wash this things out. And uh, there you can see when I got a brighter light on the uh, resistor or the light dependent resistor over here, that gave a high input to the threshold pin, pin number six, which set the output low. And it's gonna stay low because this has hysteresis again. As long as they have close to equal light, the output's gonna stay in uh, whatever state it is in. And um, so I got part numbers next to this. I believe this is the part number, but the main thing is that they are the same uh, resistor right there, light dependent resistor. Um, this one, if you look at uh, the pattern on it, it is uh, uh, different. You know, it may, it looks like it has more swiggles and um, uh, probably not as wide. I'm not sure. Um, but in any case, I have a uh, box, uh, a kit where I got a bunch of different ones, I think like seven different uh, uh, part numbers, and they all look a little different. They have, you know, different colored uh, stripes, and the number of swiggles they got are kind of different and stuff. Okay, so this one, I think we're kind of stuck low, unt unless uh, I really cover this well right there. But now I remove it, they got about equal light. You can see it's going back to low. It shouldn't do that. Um, so I have another one that looks uh, slightly different from uh, that one and these two and uh, it still worked um, so you know if you use different ones maybe it will work and maybe it won't and also um, before I forget instead of like shining a light to test this out you can just cover the one that you want darker just remember now that's the brighter one even though I'm doing something to that one and then uh, when I cover this one that's the brighter one even though I'm doing something to uh, that one it's whichever one has the brighter light that sets the output, but as long as they're close to equal, then it will stay in whatever uh, state it was uh, last put into. And uh, that's very useful because uh, when they are about equal, sometimes one might just be a little more than the other. You know, um, you know the, the light uh, may not be perfect. It may be kind of changing them a little bit. And then this would just be flickering like crazy. And we don't want that. So zooming in, a um, couple things to note, as always, um, if you're not going to be using pin 4, you want to disable pin 4. If pin 4 gets a low enough uh, voltage, then it's going to set the output low, and it's going to stay low no matter what you do. It's the most powerful input right there. So we go to the positive supply, it doesn't do anything. Now, this 220 ohm resistor, um, we, you know, higher value will, you know, make it so that it is a little bit harder to uh, get um, one light or the other to uh, change the uh, voltage to the two uh, pins right there. Um, so be kind of nice to not even have this at all. It would work, but you can see we got uh, five volts there, the uh, negative supply there. If we get a really bright light on both of these light dependent resistors, they will get relatively close to zero ohms of resistance, you know, maybe like 20 ohms or something. But in any case, um, we'll have a lot more current flowing through them than what we desire. So we put this 220 in series, that's about the minimum I use with uh, five volts, especially when there's other uh, components kind of taking some of the heat off of it. Um, but in any case, that's uh, the main reason why I have that component there. It'll probably work really nice without this resistor, just make a direct connection there. But uh, for short, short circuit sense, I believe in putting that there. And when you see light dependent resistors and schematics, a lot of times, things would be bad if the light was bright enough that it would be a short circuit. So um, it's a good idea to get some resistance, a little bit of resistance along the way to make sure to minimize that. Hopefully that makes sense. So there you can see that. And uh, I cover this output a lot. I'm not going to do that in this video right there. So that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.